Hello guys, how are you guys on uh, YouTube by the way? Uh, today's title of this vlog is how to use tripods with different types of cameras. I have two Kodak cameras. I have my big old camera. I also have my small Kodak camera and I also have a Canon uh, camera as well. It also uses a different style of lens. But I just wanted to show you guys on the type of tripods I use for everyday uh, picture use and also for blogging use. Uh, I don't always need a tripod for everything, but I do need a tripod for certain things because I only have uh, two hands uh, and, and taking things apart or trying to be able to fix things. I need the tripod to be there and be ready to go because that's like my uh, kind of a third uh, hand there was my uh, tripod. It's a very nice tripod. I bought it like uh, six years ago. Uh, I bought it uh, when I needed it for you guys because I noticed that when I was doing uh, blogging my videos can somewhat uh, shake a bit and I noticed that and I didn't really like that but now I'm doing a little bit uh, better quality blogs on the tripod, making sure the tripod is not in my way, and making sure I'm not in the camera's way when I am doing certain types of blogging or certain styles of fixing and stuff. But I have a heavy duty uh, tripod. I also have a very lightweight tripod. It's designed for smaller cameras, lightweight cameras. It's not designed uh, for big heavy cameras with big giant lenses. But it only depends on what the uh, lens is and how the camera mounts onto it and how the tripod can actually support the type of weight the unit is sitting on top of it. But remember, this is mostly made all out of aluminum and mostly half plastic. I had a couple issues with it. It has uh, broken down a couple of times, but I have repaired it. But let's go ahead and show you uh, the two different tripods. All right? Shall we get into the tripod? Ah, uh, here you go, guys. Here is my tripod. This is with the uh, Canon Rebel uh, camera on top of it. Like I'm a little closer, you guys can see. That's a big, uh, big lens though, and that's actually for supporting this type of lens by using this tripod. It's really nice. I actually have it screwed to this little bracket. Uh, don't lose that bracket because you only get one with your tripod. But notice on how long this camera lens can be. This lens can also come out different ways as well it can come out uh, big ol'. This is a focus and a non-focus lens I think. I'm not 100% sure on the type of lens this is. But it's a very nice uh, camera. Uh, this is only for steel uh, use only. This is only taking steels. Uh, it does not do uh, video. But it's a very nice uh, tripod. Now I can use this tripod for my smaller cameras and also for my bigger cameras. Now let's go kind of over here and show you this little little lightweight tripod. This tripod here has three little rubber uh, feet. It has a spring tension over here on uh, three of the legs. And all this does is screws right to the bottom of the camera. But this Kodak, you guys can see, it's just sitting on this little tripod. No problem. But for a big old uh, camera, uh, it's not going to work for this type of tripod because it's just too tiny and it's too lightweight and it's not going to be able to handle the big style cameras like this uh, setup here. Now when I am taking a photo or if I am taking a blog, I can set the camera up in different angles. I can actually twist this and move it and I can actually have it panning right up over there right though and I can take a snapshot of what's on my dresser there 
by using a tripod. Now, a tripod is a good thing to have for all sorts of still and video uh, photographers. But this is not designed to hold any type of video equipment, like big old uh, cameras uh, and stuff. But that's all this uh, little guy is designed. It has a certain a limitation of what the weight of the camera can go on this style uh, tripod. Now let's talk about the uh, aluminum uh, legs here. This is a three aluminum legs set, set up here. It does actually have a three cross ball uh, on there to actual uh, stabilize the tripod. But when you kind of move this around a little bit uh, too much, it will sometimes wobble a bit, and that's normal with any type of tripod. But yeah, we have uh, three uh, little uh, little guys here. Um, I guess the sports for the uh, unit or the tripod to actually help to hold the weight of the camera. Now, I didn't pay a whole lot for this uh, tripod. I only like, paid like less than uh, 50 bucks for it because it was a pretty nice uh, tripod. Uh, that was at this time of this type of tripod I bought that day. You probably have all different tripods. It has all sorts of different functions and uh, features and everything else you can do with it. But this is all adjustable. Uh, we can adjust the height by loosening this knob right here. And by using this dial, we can actually spin this and spin it that way down. And we can also adjust this uh, for this guy. And we can also adjust the camera to actually take a sideways kind of shot. Now, I haven't done this with this type of tripod with this camera on top of it. We're going to lift this whole assembly and see if she's going to support it. And uh, the answer apparently is kind of no because uh, I'm going to have to hold it. And if I let it go, what's going to happen is the camera is going to fall down because it's just way too heavy for the uh, tripod. Now, if you're going to be using this type of tripod with this type of camera, with this type of lens, you're going to have to hold it or make the uh, screw on the back tighter uh, on the uh, clip itself. Now, this is a pretty uh, nice tripod. I really like this tripod a lot. But it's a very nice setup on how I take a steel uh, picture. Now, we're going to unloosen the tripod clip and uh, oops and we're going to uh, take the camera or trying to take the camera out and the hooks being a kind of a pain to come out just want to show you what the hook looks like all right hold on guys I'm gonna shut you guys down for I can actually take the <coughs> camera mount off or oh, the camera itself Apparently I can't do it one-handed. Apparently I have to do it two-handed. And pick you guys up. That's the tripod mount. That what screws onto the bottom of this camera. This is a universal camera mount for any type of a camera. Now let's go ahead and sit you guys back down real quick. And I'm going to go ahead and put this actual back on the tripod. But this is a nice uh, little camera. I really do like it. I think it's a very uh, beautiful piece of machinery in here. But yes, by put, putting it like on the side, not going to work because the lens is just uh, way too heavy for the camera itself. But talking about different tripods, and the reason why I'm showing you guys these type of tripods, is every tripod is built different for different style cameras. And like I said, uh, you're not going to use a lightweight uh, tripod for your uh, big uh, Canon uh, X Rebel uh, system right here. You'll have to use this type of setup. It's very nice. I really do like it. Now, the reason I chose uh, chose this type of tripod because that's what the guy told me down at uh, Best Buy uh, when I bought it. 
for this camera because the camera type of lens on this one uh, can also zoom out as well. Now, uh, the uh, tripod is very portable, it's very lightweight, but it doesn't come with a carrying bag. You might have to uh, design one or make one uh, for your uh, camera itself. But this is just a universal tripod. This will actually work for all sorts of different tri uh, different cameras. And the mount will not work on different tripods. It only will work on this one because that's what it's designed for. Now, for a everyday kind of use, if you're going to be carrying this around, put that little piece in your uh, camera bag for you don't actually uh, lo uh, lose it because it's uh, very hard uh, to lose and you can't get a that one uh, clip for it. Now, uh, this is can be used indoors and outdoors. It has spikes on the uh, feet of the tripod as well. Um, I don't know if it's going to be good for carrying every single day because in certain areas, I don't know if you can stick the tripod in certain areas of where you decide to go to a, uh, say, a baseball game, football game, hockey game, wrestling uh, game, that kind of stuff. Uh, because the tripod uh, may not be suited for that setup and for that needs. Now, uh, this does have spikes on it. If you want to use it outside, you can actually unscrew the rubber feet, screw them up, and uh, spike it to uh, the ground. It's a pretty nice tripod. I really do like it. If you guys recommend a tripod, just go out and buy one and see how much they cost and also see how much your camera weighs and see how much weight the tripod actually can just watch. And let's go and take a more look at it. It really is very really nice for this type of setup. I really like the way uh, this uh, tripod is and how it all sets up on the camera and the camera sits just fine and it's not having no issues or anything like that. Very a nice design, beautiful uh, design, and the camera will be a little bit uh, wobbly and a little loose, but make sure you hold on to it when you're also taking types of stills or videos. But hey, that's just my tripod on how to kind of use it and kind of stuff like that. Alright guys, that's somewhat... Uh, my tripod setup and that's how I take all sorts of different types of pictures and also blogs uh, for you guys because I need that third hand because I only got two. Alright guys, if you're brand new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button, leave a comment down below, please like, uh, please show. Uh, peace out, bye guys, we'll see you in the next vlog.